Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in to my video and my channel. Today we're going to talk a little bit about unlocking versus jailbreaking an iOS device. There are some significant differences between the two and I wanted to clear that. We're going to basically be creating a tutorial to go through how to jailbreak iOS version 7 on the iPhone. Uh, so please stay tuned and look for that tutorial. Unlocking and jailbreaking. What's the difference between the two? Mainly unlocking means that you're removing that iOS device, that iPhone, or really any phone for that matter, from your cell phone service provider. So if you have Verizon, you request to have it unlocked, they will actually remove it from Verizon's proprietary database with that phone and you can take it over to Sprint or AT&T or anybody else that can apply services to that phone. This can be done by yourself contacting your current service provider, assuming you're out of contract, and then requesting your, your device to be unlocked. There's also third parties out there like the unlocker.com, iPhone unlocker, things like that that you can use. You pay them a nominal fee. They actually do this footwork for you, send you the confirmation. Your device is now unlocked and you can go and, and request new cell phone service providing to be provided, whomever, whoever you go with. Jailbreaking is completely different. Jailbreaking means that you are basically manipulating the operating system on the iOS device. There's a lot of different people that compete to create a jailbreak. And a jailbreak is finding and exploiting the operating system on your iOS device in order to install third-party applications, customize that operating system, do things that the iOS device is not intended to do. Apple generally likes to control their content, and they generally like to control what you put on your phone, how your phone gets music, how your phone gets applications, all of that's done through uh, the App Store, iTunes, things like that. When you jailbreak your device, now you can actually have the ability to put on a repository like Cydia. Cydia is kind of like the App Store. Cydia can install things like AppCake. And then you can go to AppCake, to Cydia, and you can install third-party applications that developers make. Makes it very easy if you're an application developer and if you don't want to actually put your, your live application on an Apple device by going through Apple in order to do it. If you jailbreak your device, that frees up the system and unlocks the operating system so you can get in and tinker around and mess with those, those functions. Now that's really on the developing side. For most people, they just want to be able to get cool applications, neat features like different lock screens, different themes, different sounds that do not come standard on an iPhone or that they don't want to pay for. Free applications, basically. We are going to be creating a tutorial going through the jailbreak, so please stay tuned, please watch, please like it, or let me know any other tutorials that you guys want to learn. I appreciate it. Thanks, guys.